Thank you and welcome to Imperfectly Perfect. Don't say it towards me. Why not? Because you're breath. Really? There you go. What up? Yes, what is upper? What upper? It is your girl, talk about a Tina. And I am iconic because I am iconic. Yeah. We are imperfectly perfect. And we are heading home because I just got off work. Yeah. Alright, so. What's we going were, on in YouTube? What, what's yeah, I was going to say, we were talking about a lot of the things that we've seen. And, and you know, honestly, thinking, talking about Tall Guy, what if, he, did, he, did you watch his, uh, the one interview he did? No, not yet. Not so yet. So maybe he addressed that on that interview. Yeah, because they, we, they the, were surprised. At and, what he was saying. So we got to go watch that. So we were just talking about, like, YouTubers and, like, stuff that because we've been That's watching going on in their life yeah because we've been watching them from the beginning and those of you who yeah we big g squad g squad love love and love, love oh what is love yeah whatever <laughs> um so if you if we know because we've been watching from the beginning the love and slim channel used to be the the family channel the um Legendary family. The legendary family. When he was with him and uh, E. And so we were thinking because we're from Minnesota, and I don't. Even and how we came to that is because we was already subscribed to the family channel, and then when he got with um, Jasmine, Jasmine Love, he was like, "Yeah, go subscribe to our new, our relationship channel, Love and Slim." Well, I went to go subscribe, and I was already subscribed, so I'm like, hold on. I put two and two together. Right, because the other videos were gone. Hey, it was, it was a good move, because it was already uh, people on Established, there, so. yeah. So it was All you very good was change the name. Right, so we were thinking, because we have been following that channel, following him from the beginning, him and organic, um, what, what happened? Whoa truck getting kind of close. Yeah, Lowe's, you can't fix all He's on his phone. Get off your phone. Yeah, oh. look, look, this is some Final Destination type stuff. He on the phone swerving. Right. 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 Okay. Big old pipe. He um, go right through the pipe. Pray for everybody on the road bless them and their ability to pay attention to what's going on. Um, truck getting over. Morning traffic ain't no joke on a Friday yeah. morning. Well, they're all probably going down to Tucson, that's why. Um, it is Friday morning. Yeah. All right, so. So, um, so we were wondering because shortly before Tall Guy moved, to California they bought a house out in Maple Grove so we were like did he give that to Kim does he still own it and Kim's renting from him what's going on with the house but we have not watched the, that interview so maybe he addressed Just, it yeah maybe I bet you he did. And I still want to know, what did he do with his old school car? The red and white one. The, the drop top. Is it still oh, his? The one did that, he sell it? The one that Bart he, had, right? Wasn't it? No, not, not Bart. But it's a friend that that knows Bart. Okay. You know. I was close. Yeah. See, if you don't know about Bart, you ain't been... You ain't been watching you, from the You ain't G Squad. Right. Or as tall guy say, you ain't G Squizzle. So side note. You know, we 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 watched a lot of people and we we continue to watch a lot of people. 
I'll still be watching um what's his name today if he still had his channel. Who? Uh, Family Cruising. Oh yeah. If y'all don't know about that, then y'all definitely. Y'all ain't been watching. Y'all y'all ain't enough. y'all ain't in the loop. Nah. If you, if you call yourself a fan of of uh um I'm going to say Corey, but tall guy, then you would know Bart. Yeah. If you know SRT Mush, you probably would know Bart. He hasn't put any videos out, has no, he? No, he hasn't. He was cool. I wonder what happened with him. I don't know. He, I know, I feel, I think he put out a video saying where he's been. I know he opened up a shop and he's been in, in the shop or whatever. Mm. But after his demon had crashed, and they're from Texas, right? They're down in Texas. No, that was that. That was that other guy that that I don't too much care for. I ain't even gonna say his. Yeah, I'm gonna say his name. Van Boris. Oh. They in Texas. Um. He, now, now, in out of all the car people that I've that I've watched that you've watched with me, I think he might be the fakest. Van Boris. Yeah. Yeah, Might he was annoying. Face. He was annoying. But, um... So, yeah, we was just pondering, wondering about, you know, the stuff that Tall Guy left behind in, in Minnesota, you know? Yeah. Now, if, if... If you're a fan of him, then you know Mr. Organic. Like, we was watching him when he was in that house that he that he said was his and, and all that stuff and I thought it was up until when he went and did the Fresh and Fit podcast then he let it be known and I'm just like oh like but hey if he manifested we we trying to manifest our our dog on so period because if you don't see yourself in it, you will never be in it. You gotta see it before you see it so you can see it. What do uh, organic say believe before becoming? Yeah. These people be zooming just and it's traffic. Where you gonna go? You driving that dog on fast with a, trailer. with a trailer and it's traffic. That little small car can't go nowhere. He right next to the truck. He can't go I don't nowhere. understand how you see that the vehicle's not moving. And run up on the back of him. Right. Now here go another one. Y'all pushing traffic. And that's exactly what they call it, pushing. But y'all pushing a whole bunch of people like it's traffic. No one's going nowhere. Slow down. Y'all might be Relax. Some, be some old heads. These new drivers, they don't care about you trying to push them. Bless them. So what's the what what's next we gonna talk? Who's up next? Mm, I would be curious to see what happened with Flame and Cruising though, because if y'all don't know, basically they they threatened him. He was, it wasn't, there was a car lot that did something yeah, when his car blew up, yep, right? Caught yep. on fire. And so they did a cease and desist. They were um, reporting his videos. Uh, he got a child abuse. He went to jail. Child endangerment. Child endangerment because he was speeding on his channel. And he had his daughter in the car with him. Yeah. So it was child endangerment pretty much after that like he was on for a couple more videos then his whole channel disappeared so that's why if you watching um car videos or whatever and they say oh we in mexico or all right we'll be back with my kids in the car or whatever and they they cut that scene it's because of family cruising yeah it's because of what they did to family cruising that that they do that now yeah 
They had they had tickets for him for for racing. How you gonna race by yourself on on, on a road? That's why you gotta be careful, especially with uh the one in Pennsylvania. Uh, street speed, seven one seven. You gotta be careful what you put on your channel because everyone's watching you, and they're watching. There's gonna be haters. Like he got sued for grass. Yeah. How do you get sued? No, not for grass. For um. Something on his own property. Oh yeah, for for dirt. No, not on his own property, but a property that he was renting and or not not renting that his friends had. Yeah. You know, that owned it. it they own the land. They own the land, but the city hey, gave them a ticket. It ain't nothing but trucks, and I'm stuck over there. All right, well, we just go cruising. So, he got tickets. He got sued. But he just got a, even a recent one. Well, I don't recent. I haven't watched him in a while, but... You know, for... I think the last one he got... I want to say it was on his own property. The property that we bought. Yeah. Because he said he's having his lawyers deal with it and whatever else. I but, can't wait to see what he, what he puts on the land. Like, like yeah. how he going to build it up. I, I can't wait to see how Goon Squad going to build up their little, um, yeah. their land. It seemed like they just, like, snapped and it was built, but it took forever. It just, now that it's done, it's like... I wish I could build my own house. One day, one day. One day. No, I mean, no, you can do it. I, I was just kidding. Oh, you mean like it's, physically yeah, build yeah, it? I was um, kidding. It was a joke. Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna physically build it. Nope. If anything, I'll, I'll hire um, an yeah, architect. That that one dude, uh, him and his wife. Um, oh, the ones in the, um, the trailer. Yeah, yeah, the... Um, Life uncontained. Yeah. I will hire him. I will hire him. I well, I guess so. But I know I know I wouldn't be able to hire him for mudding. He said, yeah. <laughs> if he would have known, he would have he would have had somebody but he enjoyed the experience, but he know that that's not something you wanna do. Yeah. Which that's 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 how life life is. You go ahead and, and at least try it before you say try it before you deny it yeah i'd honestly threesome try it before you deny it <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so Anyways, who's next up like i was gonna say i would honestly Watching other YouTubers, I would buy the land and build my own house up. Yeah. I wouldn't buy a RD. I, I want to buy the land and build my house the way well, I want Well, it's cheaper to build than to, to even buy it. Yeah, it's I'm to saying that. Yeah. Because a life of Corey in Texas. Life, life of Corey. Yeah. Um, CJ is so smooth. Smooth, yeah. His friend, the football player, did Oh, that. yeah, 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 yeah. He built it up. It cost him $1 million, and when it's all said and done, it'll be worth 2 to $3 million. Yeah. And, and that's and he just... he owns it flat out. Yeah, he owns it flat out, yeah. Yeah. I'd rather do that. So he, he, he made a million just by building it. Yeah. So I'd rather do that. Um... Trying to think, you watch a lot of a lot of these people is people he watch because he don't like watching people I watch. Gossip channels. First of all, correction, there's only like two gossip channels. Unwind with Tasha K and uh Well the, I don't too much care for her because she loud. Oh my god! Like calm down. She's not that loud. She's loud because she's, she's drinking that wine. That's hey. Unwind with Tasha K. Yeah, yeah. What up? What up? Anyways, Please and the unwind, other guy. Unwind and And the other down. guy is uh oh. There's only two that I watch. You're being extra. Um. 
I'm gonna find him. Just, just so we can put it out there. My wife is gonna find another man. Murad, uh, Murad Morali. This guy. Say his name three times. Murad Morali. Fat. Three times fast. He's funny. He's funny though. He keeps it real. Those are the only two gossip channels I watch. Number one, literally. And now I'm watching with you. The, but the majority of the channels I watch teach me how to run my business, and you can't deny that. I won't deny it. So you say all oh, gossip channels like it's a lot. It's only two. Yeah, you got over, Mister Impatient, and we have to get out. Well, I didn't. I didn't know all that was in front of him. Anyway. That's why that's why I know about the crypto and, and, and all There's the only others. two people I can say that and that's organic and uh Bandman Kevo. No. Who but, else? But them yes. Who else? Because those are the main two. Because organic we got two of his books that you ordered. The session. The session. You don't you wouldn't know about the session if it wasn't for me. Exactly. And exactly. I watch them though, you know. Whatever. Uh, I was watching him, and I do occasionally watch him. So when you get through, what about me? I'm subscribed to him. What about me? So what about me? What about you? Do you watch me? No. Watch me now. No hands. No. Um, I I like watching Hayden Gold. He was from Arizona. Now he's in Bows. Wow. <laughs> Whatever. And I've been watching him since he was like underage and really couldn't even. His grandparents were financially uh, helping him kind of make his way through. Yeah, they was putting his they name on it. Yeah. Um. So those are who I watch. And all these YouTubers that we calling out. If y'all y'all better get in tune. All right, what about CJ Soku? Well, right now I know that um, I know CJ that on Thirty Twos is down there. Right now he is. Yeah, he made it there yesterday. So he's there, and the baby mama's there. Mm-hmm. But they, not not without the baby. Kamari said. Well, yeah, I saw that on his Instagram. But here's here's. My my thoughts about CJ so cool, and I don't care what nobody thinks. If y'all pay attention to the, the the last six months of his videos, even the last three months of his videos, royalty. I noticed because I called it out when I noticed it. Royalty stopped wanting to be in his videos, and her mom. When you see her mom make her glimpse or whatever on his on his videos. She wasn't, um, what's the word, friendly, she wasn't kind, like, she had stink face. Mm -hmm. Let, go back and watch the videos, I'm telling you, I called it out when I seen it, because I'm like, first of all, royalty's not in the videos like that anymore, and even in the beginning, she really didn't, look, like, I feel like she tried, but for whatever reason, she just didn't want to be in the video. Like, when he would prank her when they lived in the CJ So Cool Land house, and he would come and wake her up or put, I think he put whipped cream on her one morning or something. He put something on her face or splashed her with water. She got mad as hell. And then it was recorded, so it, it was, you know, she couldn't, in my opinion, she couldn't react how she really wanted to because she's on camera. If you pay attention to the last couple of videos in the last month, like there was one where he went and wanted to do 
her car, she put what tint on her car, surprised her with the sound system, and she was upset about it. And even before that, before she even knew of what he was doing with the car, he said she was upset because she hasn't gotten her car back. Her car's been gone too long. So she literally hit him in the video, like bumped into him, and he said he explained it why she was mad was because of her car not being back when he tried to surprise her and even when she found out about the surprise she was like why you do that like why he was trying to you know a good gesture so in my opinion that situation i personally feel like he's being too nice to her i feel like she don't deserve it i'm gonna flat out say it she don't deserve how nice he's being to her giving her money still with no problem and she from what he's saying and she's still being nice about it what he's saying she was mean to him and he's still like giving her money so i feel bad for her now the whole baby mama being there i don't know i don't think there's anything going on like he said she has a baby it's strictly just her side of how she felt being on the outside and having to deal with the situations with royalty. So that's 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 my ten cents on it. What is your ten? I just think it's a it's it's a good publicity move. Yeah? I mean, because he could have kept quiet about it. He could have not put anything out, but I honestly think him putting something out was the best move because then it gives him the opportunity to speak his piece and show people the real side of what they thought they saw. Here's what was really going on. That other people, no, they're not going to put it out. They're not going to keep it real. They're not going to be honest about what they're going through. Yeah. So, I think it's a smart move. Publicity, however you want to put it, it's a smart move to put it out there so that people can see it's it's not all pieces of raw reality TV. Raw. So, I think that was a smart move. Now, the other CJ that I want to speak on, so smooth, that whole situation with him supposedly cheating or messing around with the girl and then talking about black women and y'all just hating because I'm with her and y'all black women, I don't think he should have colorized the situation. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, you you don't know? I didn't hear. Vaguely, but I'm I'm like... So, he made a comment... That black women are always hating on his girl. Because what they, she's with them and they're they're not. I don't know. Isn't that always the hating part? You with somebody that's not fully black? Well, hell, she's Mexican. That's halfway there to me. Yeah. <laughs> but the way that he made the comments, and he said, for those who aren't hating. This does not apply to you. Those who are hating, this applies to you. But I don't feel like it should have been one specific color. Like, come on now. Wasn't they, like, high school sweethearts? I believe they got together out of high school, yeah. Like that. I don't think it should have been. It just should have been, like, you hating females. It should have been very general. And so he got a lot of backlash from that. But then when he went out, he was in Florida, and apparently he was, like, hugged up on some female... And she took a picture or posted it. Whatever happened, because I don't recall the situation 100%. But it was a situation. But I feel like, I don't know. I I don't know. I feel like it was more to it. And he really was just trying to make it look like a unity between him and his girl. Which is fine. But I feel like well, do you think he didn't he did want it? the heat. Um, 
based off of the situation, I feel like there was more to it, yeah. Oh, my God. What is that? Some doggone the peanut grill with the icing on it. Oh. Uh, so. It must have been Mexican. Yeah. Call me Cookie Monster. So, I feel like, yeah, there was more to it. I'm not going to say, oh, he did this or that. I wasn't there. I can't prove it. But I do feel like, again, that was another situation that... Well, even even for um, CJ So Cool, when he cheated. Y'all, y'all, y'all know, a lot of times when men cheat, it's, it's because they're missing something at home. Oh, yeah. I feel like what's going on with CJ So Cool right now uh, justifies or coincides with what the cheating mm-hmm. absolutely not saying it was right i just feel like i don't think he should well oh did you did you did you hear the part when he was working out that um he had stopped working out because royalty didn't like how big he was getting the attention or anything like that yeah but then that just goes for insecurity within herself and again, I'm going to say it, get mad, whatever. She was, she didn't want him to better himself. But she got her boobs and butt done. Make and it she, make sense. Yeah, make it make sense. You can be on IG in a two-piece bathing suit. But he can't even walk around with his chest up. Rocco's yelling at us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to take this upstairs? No, we're going to end it. It's it's a long video already. Yeah. So we we going to end it. Well, we might do a part two. Um, oh, we will. You know. But I, I mean, those are just things that I... I honestly would love to see all the, all the YouTubers, because everyone's connected. I would love to see them meet up and have like a round table talk or a red table talk and really address the questions from the fans go live have all their channels uh going live so they all get the footage all their you know and and someone kind of ask the questions like That's or a big round table or pre or limited to so many people but have pre questions like pre pre asked, and then answer them on live. Yeah, I think that would be. I think that would bring in a lot of views, a, a lot of more than verses. Yeah, I think I think they should sit down. CJ so cool. CJ on thirty twos. CJ so smooth. Uh, Corey. Even his brother, Life of Jeremy Barrett. Which one? Oh, you said Corey. I'm like, um, tall guy. Yeah, I'm like, because you had named all the CJs, and, yeah. and all they name is Corey. Uh, uh, so, or Cordero. tall guys, both of his brothers, because his one brother pretty much stopped YouTubing. So why did you stop YouTubing? The other brother... Officer Jones? Yeah, Officer Jones. Um, Who else will be... Um, I gotta take this. I right, will. We out. See y'all next time. Okay, we can stop it and listen. We don't have to do a whole segment. Are you afraid of hearing yourself? No, are you afraid of hearing yourself?